Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll talk about WestJet's new ultra low cost air carrier, Soup, which will be offering services between can Canadian cities at a very low cost starting June. Uh, the lowest cost one way of using soup uh, would be $39 and uh, the catch is that you'll not be able to take uh, major airports uh, for example if you're in Ontario then instead of taking uh, Toronto Pearson Airport you'll have to go to Hamilton uh, to take soup to British Columbia and then uh, there's no uh, it will not be going to uh, Vancouver Airport uh, rather uh, it will you, you're gonna have to go to Abbotsford BC uh, using soup and uh, another catch is that you're only allowed to have only one personal item and if you'd like to do anything extra then for everything you're gonna have to pay for example Wi-Fi mail uh, carry-on luggage or any other uh, anything you would like so I'm gonna take you to my uh, laptop screen and then I'll show you uh, what is the round-trip cost from Toronto to Vancouver and what is the one-way cost from uh, Toronto to Vancouver so let's take uh, let's go to my laptop screen and then uh, we'll uh, see how low soup uh, can offer us. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is Ahmed Dan. So I'll be showing you what is the lowest cost you can uh, get using soup to fly from uh, Ontario to British Columbia. Uh, what it means that uh, if you're in Toronto and let's say you'd like to go to British Columbia. Then uh, the catch is that you're going to have to go to uh, Hamilton Airport. Uh, Soup doesn't operate from the major airports like uh, Toronto Pearson Airport. So we'll see uh, what, uh, you know, what, what the lowest fare you can get uh, to go to British Columbia, which is going to be Abbotsford, BC. And now on the main screen right here, you can see that uh, there's a $39 fare from uh, Abbotsford uh, to Edmonton. Uh, but we'll check from uh, Toronto or Ontario to uh, British Columbia. So we'll choose one way here and then uh, let's choose uh, Hamilton, Ontario. And here on this screen, as you can this, uh, see that uh, soup is operating from these uh, cities only. So Abbotsford, Edmonton, Halifax, Hamilton and Winnipeg. Uh, so one, two, three, five cities and we'll choose Hamilton. And then uh, because this is a uh, one way, so we're going to choose uh, the target city, which is going to be um, British Columbia. And then we'll see uh, what is the depart date. Uh, soup is going to operate from June, but we'll see what is the lowest cost we get, get for this fare, uh, even in July or after. So here I'm looking at June. Uh, okay it doesn't make sense maybe i have to oh, sorry i have to uh, hit search so if i hit search here then looks like uh, there are no flights available for the date you selected so let's go to modify uh, and here again so deeper date is going to be okay so looks like starting june 20th so here we can see 300 39 June 21st 179 June 22nd 149 and if you look at July then I can see all fares but I don't see anything below uh, 179 okay let, let's try August and uh, same here uh, September same here uh, 179 I see 149 I see 149 here which is September 14 uh, let me go back to July to see if there's any 149 so for July I don't see any 149 so 179 so for September I was able to find for these dates uh, September 14 September 21st September 28 149 so we have our lowest fare from uh, Toronto or Ontario to British Columbia which is $149 now let's go back and search for return trip and we are going to change it to round trip and we have Hamilton Ontario and Abbotsford BC and deferred date 
is going to be let's see we have here uh, June 22 which is 158 dollars and looks like that's the lowest depart date I'll just uh, quickly check uh, August and September and same here I don't see anything lower than that so let's choose June 22nd uh, 158 dollars and then we're going to choose our return date which is now uh, okay looks like June uh, okay so July June 24 uh, that's not realistic if you're living on June 22nd so we'll see what's uh, what we have in July so I don't see anything lower in July than $196 let's check August and September August is actually up and September is $131. I see $131. So September 21st, let's uh, click on that. So we have these two dates and let's search, hit on search flights. And we have uh, Friday departing a flight is Friday, June 22nd. And let's hit on here okay so let's hit on here and departing oh okay, I have to put a check tick mark here and uh, so we have the departing flight and returning flight is September 21st which is right here and we get our total fare right here which is three hundred seventeen dollars and eighty five cents three hundred seventy five three hundred seventeen and 85 so these are the lowest fares we can find for one way and return trip from Toronto to Vancouver which is not bad either uh, with the regular airline my guess would be if you do a round trip it would be close to $1,000 800 to $1,000 uh, if you get lucky you might get lower than that and one way would be similar for example it would be $400 to $500 or even more depending on where you're looking at so again that's not bad at all even if you have to pay a little bit extra for the uh, extra items for example Wi-Fi or carry-on or uh, small things like that but still you're getting a, a good deal and if you don't mind driving to the nearest airport uh, which is uh, let's say for Toronto residents would be the Hamilton Ontario so you are getting a good deal so hopefully uh, there will be more ultra cost carrier coming up, uh, coming in, in the future. So that's all for now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll uh, see you shortly with another video. Thank you.